As you see, Fred Astaire's last film, Dance, was aboard the Colonial Fleet's luxury liner, Rising Star. The episode, titled The Man with Nine Lives, also has Fred Astaire schooling his son Starbuck, and us, on how to play Pyramid, and that serves to support the purpose of the cryptic title, as related to the lesson taught by Marin Jensen's Lieutenant Athena. Foxy, you will return to your seat as well as the other students or stay for an additional learning period. And you, young man, will stay anyway for returning late from meal period. I wanted to see the kids. Are they really just like us? They look like us, but they don't move. Children, what Foxy is trying to explain is that these space foragers are in a state which we call a state of suspension. What does that mean? It means that in order to travel great distances between planets, they couldn't carry enough life-supporting gases to make the trip. Who knows what is the most important gas which we need to breathe to live? Boxy. Oxygen. Very good. Temperature. The Man with Nine Lives is actually a reference to the 1940 Boris Karloff film about research into cryogenics and suspended animation. 88. Metabolism at this time is practically nil. The only sign of life is the easy rhythm of the patient's heartbeat. It is no coincidence that 35 years to the month after this episode, John Bradford and Douglas Talk proposed how therapeutic hypothermia and total parenteral nutrition could support astronaut crews in a low metabolic torpor state for the six-month satellite journey to Mars. <laughs>